Hi YouTube, it's Mr. Dodo8449 here. Uh, it's time for another little update video, and uh, to be honest, I haven't been doing much visually from the last update. Um, I've been working on the track and cleaning it and uh, making it run nice and smoothly and all that, all the wiring and stuff like that. So, um, basically, it's all that I've done from the last update. Um, in fact, from the last video, I mean is all the trees have now been stuck down in their positions I want them to sit. Um, that's all the trees in the area in front of you that you can see and around the uh, village scene as well, that's all stuck down. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that all in a minute but I'll just carry on with um, the track and what's happening. Now at the moment the my uh, little, well my Deltic is running with a, um, a B-set GWR coach one of, I need to find the, another one to make the pair um, but I was having problems with this area of track in front of you here I think well, I think I've got two dodgy points unfortunately and they don't allow current to run through them 100%, only about 50% so when it hit this piece of track it used to slow right down especially as it was going up a hill as well, that wasn't very helpful so um, I had to find a way of fixing that the usual thing that most people use, I use a bus wire um, just about, just just off camera actually, um, is the point where the wire drops down um, and it meets up with the original bus wire which was underneath the track which I put down a little while ago. Now, since I put that wire down, the um, train has been running a lot smoother. There's um, no sort of change in speed now there, there used to be. And uh, basically it's made it a lot nicer, as I said, a running track. Um, the other thing that I had to do is I went around the whole of the main layout, um, the main loop, and I removed all the uh, little stones and stuff that were causing wheels to jump and bounce off the rail, and all the ballast now has been um, removed off the track. Uh, it gives it a lot smoother now running um, all these trains, and it sounds a lot better to the ear as well. It's no longer sort of as bouncy as it used to be. Um, I got one area still to do, only about. 18 inches of track left, but um, uh, I wanted to do this little video because um, the train is finally running all the way around the track, hasn't come off. This is about actually, this has been running for about 20 odd minutes now, 25 minutes, and it hasn't come off the track. I know that doesn't sound impressive to anybody, but if you knew the problems I was having with a few of the points and stuff, then that is quite impressive. I used to be able to only go around half in maybe five minutes. So yeah, that's much great improvement. Um, I did do the usual stuff when you lay down your track to test it all works. It did all work, but I don't know, maybe the glue I used or something like that sort of fiddled with the points slightly and um, stopped them from working. So anyway, that's the track now working. A um, little bit more work to do on it on a few of the sidings and stuff, um, but that was all still to come. Now, yeah, as I said, the other thing I did wasn't uh, a little bit of scenery that you can that's visual. Um, as I said, it was basically sticking down trees and stuff in this area. I'll just give you a quick look around so you can see it before I move on to the village. So yeah, that is that little bit done. Now moving over to the village. Um, the trees are in the same position you've seen them the whole time, but they're finally stuck down. Um, the other little bit of scenery I've done is um, the wall you can see in front of you. I'm just going to put it back on my stand a minute. Yeah, the wall you can see just along here. Um, it's made out of sleepers. About. I've stopped the train there. Um, yeah, it's made out of, um, well, it's meant to look like sleepers. Um, the two at the top there have been stuck down. The two at the front here, I haven't quite stuck down yet, so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to cut them down slightly or um, leave them the same length or what. But that there is all sort of running through my head at the moment. So what I'm planning on doing is creating like um, a slightly muddy concrete sort of track running between the gap here and down to the road leading to um, the, st the uh, engine shed area here. Now about the engine sheds, um, I have had a change of 
design. Um, when I put down this scenery here, I thought it looked too good to hide, um, hide behind a building or something. I thought that that, that um, the wall that you can see there, just and the trees sort of behind it, especially when I had the bushes and the final touch, I think that area will look quite good. So I decided to do a slightly different design. Um, is what I'm going to do. Let me move the camera around so you can see. Is from about here to about that stick there. It's going to just be a roof and um, six poles going down. Um, then from this here to that one there, that bit there will be a solid building. Um, that there covers the whole of the track, the uh, whole of the train even. Um, and I think it will look quite good with a, um, a bit of a building workshop area at the back, leading out to just a covered roof area at the front. As well as that, I mean, you can look underneath it and you can still see all the um, uh, all the, the scenery behind it. Now, once I've done that, I can then move on to the static grass and finishing off the ballasting and all the little bits like that. Uh, the next thing I was thinking of is this one here. Um, do I want the vehicles to just run behind it or do I want the vehicles to come around the front as well? That's why this one here hasn't been stuck down yet, but I'm sort of thinking through that. Um, the last little bit of scenery which I want to do in this area is um, some six foot high fences or hedges or something like that that will run from the edge here round that tree to the front and then along on the other side as well. Um, same goes on the other side, on the other house on the other side. I just think that will, will finish off those areas really nicely. Um, uh, the other area I've been thinking about, oh, sorry about the camera, is um, here. Um, I'm probably going to add a little pond area um, just around that sort of that bit around here. Um, I'm not quite sure at the moment if that's 100% or what, but uh, that's the sort of thing I'm thinking of, maybe just a marshy, boggy area, something like that, just just around this little area here. Um, nothing too big or anything like that, um, just to give it a bit more variety, and then I'll add a hedge just off camera, I'll add a little hedge going across. Um, again, I think that will finish off the area and divide up from the fields quite nicely as well. Um, as I said, this isn't a ma well. I don't think I did actually. This isn't a massive update I'm doing. Um, I've been working on the track quite a bit, making it smoother, cleaning it, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, um, other than what I've showed you, I haven't been doing much more scenery-wise. I've been thinking about what I can do. Um, I've had a few ideas. I just mentioned the uh, sheds and the possible marshy area and things like that. But um, I'm trying to work out what I can do with this area over at the back. Um, there we go. The area here, and um, you can see the green at the back. That was a good catch. <laughs> oh dear me. Anyway, um, I might be able to edit that bit out. Anyway, as I was saying, this little bit around here, what to do with it? Well, I've been seeing on YouTube recently quite a few. Um, um, people building a layout, I um, actually decided to use, well, to make uh, allotment areas. Um, I think everyone knows of the one big uh, Everard Junction. He's done a really nice job of it, I think, what he's um, done so far. Um, and I thought it looks quite good what he's done. I thought I may as well give it a go, see what I can come up with. Um, I think it looked quite good. So that's just on this little area here, about two or three little allotments, you know, the usual thing the sheds, stuck cars. Bit, lots of mud, people running around, that sort of thing in that area. Um, if I don't think it works very well, um, I'll go back to my original plan, which was to build another hill on this side. So like this hill here, but on the other side, same sort of design and everything. And I think that that there will set off the track quite nicely. So yeah, that's another idea I had. Um, hopefully that there will be coming along in the next update or so. So the last area is just here. At the moment, there's a table there. But I was thinking, what can I do with this hole at the moment? That's basically what it is. Um, and after a bit of thinking, I thought, let's get rid of that, that I would build in a, um, uh, a baseboard running from here, just on the side of the road, to here. 
<coughs> excuse me, um, to here, fill it in, a lot of static grass, mud, that sort of thing, and then um, build a, um, a farmyard in that area there. Um, I think that it will finish off quite nicely, just sort of um, a few barns, a cottage, that sort of thing in this area here. I think that they will fill up quite nicely. Then the road will come from here off and then it will bend towards me. Um, I think that will finish it off quite nicely. So yeah, that's just another idea. I won't be doing that for a little while though. Um, I want to get the rest of the scenery done before I move on to that. But um, it was just a little thing running through my head I was thinking of. Um, yeah, that is about it for the this update. Um, thanks for, well, thanks for watching. I've got one more thing to ask you. Um, if you um, would like to, please check out my channel and the usual comment, like, and subscribe. Um, always appreciated to hear what you sort of think, any feedback or things like that. Um, the last thing which I wanted to ask was, I'm planning on buying a, um, a video camera. At the moment I shoot all these um, clips with my phone. Um, and I want to get a video camera, a proper one. Um, but I was wondering if anyone had any recommendations. Um, I just want a simple to use camera. Doesn't necessarily have to be full HD, but preferably HD. Um, I want it to be able to work with Windows um, Media, um, what do you call it, Windows Movie Editor. Um, I think that's what you call it. Um, so just the thing you get on the computer. So I want it to be compatible with that. Also able to upload to YouTube quite easily. So if anyone has any recommendations, um, just leave them in a comment below, and I'll have a look out of it, um, and we'll have to see how it goes from there. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you on my next video soon.